So Yokomuchi, side of the head strike, here's the attack. In general, we start from Aihami on a lot of these, but there'll be some exceptions. And as he steps into the strike, it's a good thing to match. Match your body to his body. A good place to go is the center line, but we don't want to clash, so we're going to come down the elbow and slide back. This side. So it's just lightly. From here, maybe there's a reason you don't know who's behind you, right? I wonder who's back there. So you could come in. Nobody. So this is called Shoyaku Kodegaish. One. Shoyaku, you can go ahead and let go. Come in. Dip down. I'm going to move around so you can see. You can get Kodegaish. Right? One. Two. Now don't turn your hips. You get hit. Three. Support the wrist. Keep it above the elbow. So even though I don't have much of a grip now, I have the ability to control him. Okay. If you ever need to, you can cinch it up, get your cuffs off. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, so this is Yokomanuchi Kote Gaish. The Q art is Yokomanuchi Kokunage. So now we're going to the wrist. Hey, okay, so in this series, there's three of them. Like I said, the Q art has the Kokunage, and the Don art has Kote Gaish and Sankyo. So we're going to do a very similar movement. So here, slide in, but your hands underneath. Slide through and cut. One, two, you're over here like this, behind him. Coming through, up, cutting across your body, keeping him behind you. who's behind. It's clear. You know the side's okay. There's no reason to turn back to him. I have my hand lightly over the fat part of the hand. I'm holding very lightly, just letting it come around. Should be very little pain. Shall we try this? This is Choyaku Sankirami Tenkan Semponage. So uh, these strikes here, this is Irami Nage. Right? Here, Irami Nage, right? It's a QR. But it doesn't always work. Oh, so then you turn and just throw. So, oh, maybe I'm late. Decide again. You're starting for the Irami. It's not going to work. You slide in. Make sure that you tilt this down. This side. One, two. Four. One, two, three. So it's a, a movement. Make sure you, your feet come up together so you're all together. He's not throwing forward, he's throwing down. Most of our zempos are down, right? This is forward. Oh, he can be really strong. Down, but it follows his arc. And it helps to hook the hand. Shall we try that? Okay, the next set of movements it's called sudori. Sudori is pass through. Now there's an opening when you pass through, but you don't necessarily use it. Sometimes you pass through so quick and close that they may fall. So in this one, there's a series of three, and we do them in a particular order. So um, come a little closer here, is this far away? 
Yaku Hami, the opposite Hami, he's going to come and strike Yoko Minuchi on this side. It's as if I'm drawing my sword. That's the pass through movement. So I come through and I do a Soyaku. Now he's striking the other side. As he strikes, this is where his target is. I give him the target. As I pass through, I have this possibility. Yeah! And now he strikes back on this side. I move through and stand up. And he falls. So again, just to review that, same way, same attacks. You want to hold their attention on that last one. So when he's coming to strike, you don't want to go, because then he'll strike your head. You hold his attention, move down, move up. Why do I move down, move up? If he doesn't fall, I better not just be sitting there. Hey, hi, guy. <laughs> Furthermore, you might, at this point, you can nudge him with your hips if you needed to. But again, it's passed through, so that's, we're not trying to aggressively throw him. Here we go, this distance, one, two, three, other side, one, two, and that's two doi. So practice it, one, two, three. Take your time. Right. Hey, two more to go. These are both called irami techniques. Yoko Minuchi, right? Often we think of irimi on this side, but irimi just means to enter. So as I enter, I'm here, and then I'm going to do sankyo. So you strike, so he strikes, you're here. Catch, bring it. Sankyo. This side. I'm here, in deep. You want to catch this at the elbow, slide this hand down to the fingers, rotate, catch Sankyo, come around, and you're usually done. One, two, so yeah, it's a deep movement, that's the urinary movement. One, two, now keep moving, see I'm moving this way. Moving this way, now all I have to do is cut. So when a person strikes, they often will have their hands like in front of them to strike. Yes, I have this more here. So you're here, drawing it down. If it's too far back, you probably can't get this movement. Right? Other things you can do, of course, is go to Gaish, but that's not our art today. It's here. Yes. Come in here. Once you're here, stay back to back. Don't try to face him. Be strong. Now he's going to be strong right here, but he's really weak right over here. He's strong here. He's weak right there. One, two. So right here, he's strong here. He's weak here. So, you choose. You want to fight strength or you want to blend with weakness. Okay, the last art here is again Irami. He's striking here. I'm here, but I'm going to be on top instead of back here. So, I'm going to drop this down, rotate the elbow down, and we have Hichigatane. So, we're already in a pin. So, this is called Hichigatane. I come in, cover the hand. Here, you could do it just one. Minute. But it's important that I'm at the elbow. A lot of people do this incorrectly, or they'll get in trouble because they want to come up under the under here. He's got a lot of leverage. Come through. Whoa. If I'm here, come through. He should, if he could come through, how am I supposed to do this art? <laughs> right? Just that again. 
So I'm here, and I can use this hand to help me to see where my hand is over the elbow. Use your body to finish it. Covering here, cut. You're already there. You're me, because we're entering Hijikatame. It is on the Hantai side. Right. So to review, first one we did, you slide over here, Kode Gai. Next one we did, same thing, we came, Choyaku, and we came around and Sankyo. Next one we did, we start Irimi, we just get off of it, Zempo. Next one we do, the last two that we do, we come here, Sankyo, same way again, on this last one, here, now on this last one I just want to make an emphasis that sometimes it's hard to do if you're smaller than your uke, so a different way to do this is you bring it down, you Roll the elbow down. And this is a very quick way to get him down. Other side. So I'm here. I'm here. Rolling the elbow down. So you can try that, especially if you're dealing with someone a lot bigger than you. Or sometimes smaller, because it's hard to use your whole arm on a small forearm. So these are the donarts for Yoko Manucci. We should practice them. Hey. Hey.